One of the biggest things that has been a driving force behind why I create art is really driving people to the point of living for something bigger than themselves and knowing that you know I have a task as an artist to communicate that to people but also really also still encouraging myself to live bigger than myself. I mean this is an amazing platform that I have to say something that I want to say but also really portraying who I am in it. I think that's just a driving force of why I create. To first, to encourage myself to live bigger than myself, and then to encourage others that are going to be seeing that. And realizing we must be living for something bigger. I, I guess I grew up realizing I wasn't good at science, especially since I loved to paint, and I loved to paint on the walls of our house and just be really off the wall. I transformed this spot into uh, my art studio in the last couple of years, and it just kind of was a gradual transition from the playroom into this art studio. And I, seeing the similarities between those, and seeing how I've how I've grown, and how I can still get back into that spot of imagination and um, wonder and excitement. This was my first use of map um, that I ever have used and map as a vein or veins. I really just wanted to just try that out and see this kind of fist and this is kind of a cool poem, Wild Daisies. So the wild part really got me. Um, if you love me, bring me flowers. Wild daisies clutched in your fist. Like a torch, no orchids or roses or carnations. No florists bow, just daisies. The things around me is what I, what I focus on are the natural elements um, of specifically this earth and our bodies and really relating the two as creations. So many times I'll look in um, a book that has these aerial beautiful landscape views and then look into an anatomy book and see the exact correlation of this island in the middle of nowhere. The cross sections of our bones and the veins as rivers, cellular formation as like the cracks in the ground, the relation of all of this wild creation that God has created. When you dive deeper into like what what it is that was that has been created by our creator, there's not a question that things are related. Where the painting's gonna go, I don't know a lot of times. I come into it with blind faith and a step that is just a, a step forward to trusting God that this painting is, is gonna portray whatever's in my heart, whatever God's put on my heart to share with others, but also to heal me or to teach me something. It's a really beautiful kind of correlation to whatever kind of challenge you're going to face. And it's an unknown challenge, taking that step of faith, taking that act of faith as a Christian artist, finding that strength. As I go through this process of this huge painting that I'm going to learn something towards the end. And that's just a beautiful depiction of our walk with Christ. Wild the hedge grows, wild the spring, wild the yellow hammers sing, wild the roaring of the sea, Wilder still the blood in me.